In this presentation, we are going to look at the exponential distribution. And we're going to introduce the scenario. We are in a bank. Suppose that the average waiting time for queuing in a bank is 10 minutes. So average waiting time, waiting time is something that we would model using the exponential distribution. Okay, so the exponential mean here is 10 minutes. So this is the waiting time is X. Okay, we're going to call that X and it's the waiting time for in a queue in the bank. Okay, and the average value of X, the expected value of X is 10. Okay, the exponential mean. Now, this is how we might formally state this variable here, the uh, waiting time. It's an exponential random variable with rate parameter lambda. And the rate parameter lambda is equal to 1 over mu, where mu is the mean duration, the mean waiting time, essentially. So mu here is equal to 10. That means our rate parameter is 1 over 10. Now, two useful formula here. This is one is the survival function and the cumulative distribution function, which is essentially 1 minus the survival function. Okay, this, the cumulative distribution function is probably what a lot of people are more familiar with when they are starting out in probability distributions. But the second one, the first, uh, the, this one here, the survival function, will start to pop up after a while as well. Just as a quick remark, actually, I should remark that for x greater than 0. I just, there's a very shortened version of it there, but actually it, there are a few more things you should say when you're stating it. So the question is, what is the probability that a customer will spend more than 15 minutes queuing in the bank? So the probability of X being greater than or equal to 15. So how do we calculate that? That is the exponential of minus 15 times lambda, where lambda is equal to 1 over 10. Okay. So 15 times 1 over 10 is 3 over 2, essentially minus 1.5. So the exponential of minus 1.5, that gives us a probability of 0 0.22. So that's the answer to the first part of it there. The second part is, what is the probability that a customer will spend more than 15 minutes in the bank given that they are still in the bank after 10 minutes? Okay, so this is an interesting one and it relates to the memoryless policy property of the exponential distribution. But I'm just going to sort of take it uh, as is. Okay, now it actually should work out that it is probability of x greater than or equal to 5. Okay, it's a sort of just the difference beyond 10 minutes. Okay, is this, this is the point of the memoryless property that, you know, it's the same as if you wait an extra 5 minutes. So, Probabil probability of x greater than or equal to 15, given that x is already greater than or equal to 10. Essentially, the, how we calculate that is a conditional probability. Probability of x greater than or equal to 15 divided by the probability of x greater than or equal to 10. We already have calculated the probability of x greater than or equal to 15. So all we have to do is also calculate the probability of x greater than or equal to 10, which is essentially 10 times 1 over 10 is e to the minus 1. Okay, so when you divide e to the minus 5 by e to the minus 1, you should get e to the minus 1 half. And that actually is the answer. And that also corresponds to what you would have got if you just stay, used and invoked the memoryless property, probably x greater than or equal to 5, you would have got the same answer. I, both approaches are fine, but that gives you 0 0.604. And just as a quick remark, in case you didn't catch what I said about the memoryless property, does, do, do I mean that? Yes, I do. You can Google that. Look that up on the internet. Okay, that's good. We'll leave it there.